discuss things amongst ourselves and we can have proper conversations and decide on what we do for policy and how we go forward and afterwards we can shake hands with each other when we disagree. As a veteran of battles within other parties, I can tell you that doesn't happen anywhere else. They go away afterwards and sharpen the knife to see how quickly they can stab each other in the back. At least with UKIF, we identify each other, we know where we stand on things, we have a good discussion, normally we have a pint afterwards, and we're okay. Okay, uh, Bill, uh, I was listening to your speech earlier here at the uh, Young Independence Conference. Uh, you mentioned about in UKIP that when you have disagreements or debates about policy and so on, uh, you know, you, you, you argue like mad, but then you go for a drink afterwards and get on. Uh, now, obviously, coming from Better Off Out, I'm really interested in the referendum campaign. I was wondering how do you think um, yourself and other people from UKIP uh, are going to react to being asked to work with people from other parties on this? Well, I will have the same approach. Um, we fighting for a common cause. I'm more than happy to get stuck in with people. Mm -hmm. We can argue and fight about the minutiae until the cows come home. The overall cause is the important one, and that's what really matters. And when it comes down to it, you know, we'll fight it out, and then we'll get out there on the streets, and we'll work together, and we'll shake hands on things. And if there's disagreements, well, let's overcome them. The cause is bigger than any small differences. Well, that's right. I, I mean, I couldn't agree more. Now, of course, we don't know when the referendum's going to be, uh, could be as early as maybe April next year, or we might be running on for another 18 months, two years. Uh, and of course, there are going to be um, local elections and such like, sort of scattered, scattered around uh, about that. Um, but are you confident that you know, like, you, you, you could campaign against, let's say, somebody from Labour during a local election, yeah. uh, and then a month later be handing out leaflets with them for the referendum? I pride myself on being a pretty fierce fighter, uh, and when it comes to these elections, I will fighting people tooth and nail. However. After that, around that, alongside that, we can shake hands and talk because we've got a bigger issue. There is something that unites us. Mm. There are differences which we, you know, we'll have a proper democratic debate on. But when it comes down to it, what really matters is freedom for our, for our country to get out of the EU. And I'll work with Labour, Socialists, Greens, Conservatives, Liberals, anybody in order to achieve that. I mean anybody. Great. Well, that's really good because I've been talking to um, people from the Conservative Party, Labour Party. You know, I've even found some Eurosceptic Liberal Democrats well, I mean. uh, over the past <laughs> few weeks. Um, and pretty much everyone's saying the same thing. You yeah. know, that the, the, this referendum is so important to the future of our country um, that they want to work with everyone. Yeah. Uh, and let's hope we can do that. So we're launching our campaign in September. I know you could be launching your campaign in September yeah. uh, and so I'll be seeing you on the campaign trail and we'll all be working together. Absolutely, Brilliant. absolutely. Okay, well thanks for taking time, I know you're a busy chap here at the conference. It's a pleasure. Great, thanks very much. Cheers.